Jimbo's Garage. All right, so my daughter calls me this morning on a Saturday morning, and uh, we're supposed to go visit them in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, that's where they live. It's about 25 miles from where my wife and I currently live. And uh, she said it would be great. They recently moved into a, uh, a new apartment there, and uh, they said it would be great to come and have dinner, but we're looking for a table. And if we can't find the right size table to fit, you know, we'll just eat off the ground. I said, no worries. Well, a few minutes later, she calls me and said, Dad, is there any way that you can make us a table and bring it with you tonight? Are you kidding me? Wow, it is 10.30 in the morning, and she sends me this picture. Well, needless to say, I'm on my way down to the wood supply store, picking up the material. Luckily enough, I have the metals at the shop. It's a wooden metal table with a bench or two. I'm not really certain yet. I'm just scrambling as fast as I can to get everything done that I need to get done. So let me get to the wood supply store grab what we need, get back to the shop, and try to put this thing together in the next couple of hours. Now we're just gonna walk in here right now. I, uh, I know right where I'm headed, and I'm gonna just get right over here, and look at that, right here is what we are. Now back here is a six foot table, I'm pretty sure. This is a 10 foot table, and that's probably an eight foot table. Hmm. I think we need a couple of these sixes right there. Okay, so there we go. We got the we got the the two tabletop, uh, you know, pre-glued, pre-assembled. You know, it kind of cuts a lot of the work out of it. I got to say, they're not really cheap. Uh, they're about 140 bucks a piece, and these things are six feet long, inch and a half thick, 27 inches wide. I'm going to use one of them for the tabletop itself, and then I'm going to take the other one and slice it up, make a couple of benches out of it. So I guess if you look at that, you know, 300 bucks um, and a little bit of metal, some inch and a half square tube, 063, uh, welded together, not too much. I would have to probably say maybe 40 bucks, 50 dollars, say at the most, in in metal, um, and then 300 bucks for this, 350 dollars for a custom table, custom table. Uh, and benches. I guess if you look at it that way, it's not too bad. All right, well, I guess I need to get busy. Let's get some lights on here. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I wanted to do here is take one of these uh, tabletops and cut it in half. Now, I'm having a bit of a problem right here. I, I dropped my my cordless uh, DeWalt saw off the scaffolding the other day, bent the table. It didn't look like it was bent. I thought everything was good, but definitely had an issue with it. So I switched over to my skill saw and was able to, uh, uh, had no problems with that. Then I just cut about a half inch out of the center of it. So uh, we got 13 inch wide benches there, 13 and a half, something like that. And uh, that works going to be just fine. No problem. Got everything all squared away and got everything cut for the benches right here. And then I'm just taking a quarter rounding over bit and I'm going to catch the edges on both sides all the way around. These things are like razors right out of the box, right out of that plastic, man. The edges are so sharp. So by just uh, rounding the edges a little bit is all it really needed to uh, soften up the edges. So I did that on both of the benches and the tabletop as well. And that, that worked out pretty good. I know I'm cheating a little bit by having these things already done and not making them myself, but you know what? Uh, we just had to get through this thing. I got my son-in-law, Dane, here. He's uh, going to help out. We're trying to speed up the process here. We're getting the stain put on this right here. You know, neither one of us have much experience in staining, but uh, Dane did a great job right here and rubbing everything in, and, and uh, it worked out really good. It's a nice color. I really like the color. It finished up really good. And uh, once you got all that done, you know, I was actually, uh, I put a couple uh, coats of clear on uh, on both sides of it and gave it a little bit of a luster. That worked out pretty good. So while he was doing that, I was uh, getting the metal all cut for the base and the base frame for the table and benches right here. And then I also had to cut out some tabs on the plasma table. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, this thing here has really been uh, a blessing it works really good for making brackets and doing anything you want to do and of course uh coupled up with the hp micro cut 875 sc it's uh 
been no problem and everything has uh, worked out really well. So I got the frames all cut out, got my tabs all cut out, and so it's just time to start clamping everything down and uh, and getting things welded together. It's pretty simple. It's just a little uh, like a, a frame, like a square frame for each side. Uh, and then I've got a couple of rails I'm going to use to attach it to, to hold the tabletop in place. You know, this is the beauty of having uh, um, a table from weldtables.com and these armor clamps and squares to hold everything nice and square while you're welding everything together. You know, it makes fabrication just so much faster and easier. And I remember just a couple of years ago, uh, you know, it was one weld at a time and I was just using a, a little corner square to hold everything and hope by the time I got around to the uh, to the very end, it, everything was square, but with uh, this process right here, uh, it was no problem. Now, I'm not, weld, I'm not uh, grinding all the welds on this right here. I do want to leave the outside welds exposed a little bit, and uh, I want to have that uh, rustic look looking uh, looking for it. So these are just the inside that uh, I'm, I'm getting uh, ground down. You can see these are the frame rails I'm putting in for the top. And uh, just getting everything clamped down and getting everything tack welded in. Operating off the new HTP uh, Pro Pulse 220 MTS here. Uh, this is a brand new machine out by HTP. You know, multi-purpose, big TIG and STIG, and uh, really nice machine, all in one. It works pretty good. You can see my wife in the background there. She's taking <laughs> some, some photos with the phone, some Instagram stuff. You know, I, I love her. She's really getting, gets, likes to get involved and get in there and take some photos. It's awesome. All right, so I'm just grinding some of the stuff. This is the top part of the uh, table frame right there, and I just got everything uh, welded nice or ground down nice and smooth. Had a little bit of problem with this, trying to find the angles out. I'm onto the benches here right now, and uh, I... I had to find the angles right on this. I couldn't get it. This is the longest part of the build. You can see that uh, these things right here, I'm 13 and a half inches at the bottom. I believe I'm like 10 inches or something at the top. I'm not certain. I can't really remember. But uh, you can see there, you may or may not see, but there's some pretty big gaps right there. And I just couldn't get the angles right on these things. So I was left with some pretty big gaps to try and fill. But, um, I was able to get through it and get them filled in. Took a little time, start, stop, start, stop, but uh, ultimately um, I, I got it all done. And I did have four of these things to make, so it did take some time. You can just see some of the gaps right there. And then just grinding uh, some of those welds. You know, I've been using these, uh, you know, Mercer abrasives uh, grinding wheels, and these things here, I've got a, a lot of different variety of these things, and, and man, a lot of different grits, and, and they come in handy. Having the different grits, I'm telling you, for the different uh, type of grinding you do, and, and uh, this is really working out. I'm I'm really enjoying these uh, abrasive wheels. There's all four of them, and you might see it's starting to get dark outside. So I think we've pretty much given up on the uh, fact that we we're having dinner, and uh, that is fine. The hope is now is to get this done uh, and get them loaded in the jeep so uh, Dane can take them home that night. You know, we're running on here it's, uh, about 10 hours straight working on this right now. And uh, Dane had made a quick little run out to the Jeep, make some measurements, and he realized that uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get these things in. So after all this work and trying to get it all done and, and erase and beat the clock, uh, they weren't going to fit in his Jeep anyway. So, uh, you know, I, I ended up uh, just finishing, you know, here, this part of it, and then uh, a couple of hours the following morning, and then uh, my wife had... I wasn't able to go, but my wife had taken them out to him, so that worked out pretty good. You can see I'm just finishing up uh, the grinding here on the very top. This is where the benches are going to. The bench tops are going to be sitting on. And then uh, just some final tabs uh, here. This is how I'm going to anchor the bench tops to the frames to the frames here. All right, so there's the bench top, and then here is the frame. And that just fit on there pretty good, nice and square. Uh, a little cantilever all the way around, and then just pre drill right here. And I used some 5 16ths by one inch uh, lag bolts right here, and that's how I attached them in. These things aren't going anywhere. You know, it's custom. You can't find stuff like this uh, at any kind of retail store. Uh, it's pretty nice. All right, there's one bench down, and then I was able to get the uh, other bench done as well. All right, there it is. The uh, benches are done, and there's the second one done as well. I forgot to turn the camera on with the tabletop. I attached it the same way, 
and there it is. I had my wife help me uh, bring that out and put everything together. This is a great little project. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. It was a fun little build. I know my daughter and Dane really appreciate it. It worked well for them. Don't forget to check out my website at jimbosgarage.com for your latest torch lead holders and shirts and hats. Follow us on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.